All right, so this is a tutorial about how to build a resume in InDesign CC 2015. We're going to start by saying File New Document. And I have this document set up to print at letter size. I'm not going to worry about these other um, issues right now. I'm going to say OK. So during this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create character styles, um, how to have multiple columns inside a text box, how to work with bullets, as well as how to establish um, visual hierarchy uh, through the use of text formatting. So the document I have open here is available for you on ELC if you're using this as one of my students. Um, and we're going to use this document to format the information. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our name into this document. So we have the name of our student here. I'm going to use the text tool and create the name box here. So I'm going to paste through edit, copy, edit, paste, or command C, command V. And I'm going to begin to format this text here. Um, so I'm going to use Gil Sands. And I'm going to change the size of the text to 25. And we're going to bring it down just a little bit. And Good Digital Craftsmanship says we change the size of that box so that it's not any longer than it needs to be. Okay, I'm going to create a guide for myself because I want all of my information to start at the same place. So my guide here, I'm going to drop right at, um, I'm in pixels here, right at um, the 18 pixel mark. And I'm going to draw another text box to begin. And I'm going to align my E for education up with the T in the last name here. So I've created my text box. I'm going to grab the education information from the right side for my document here, Command C. Command V to paste it. Now it comes in, and this is not the formatting that I'd like it to have. I need to have education as a headline. I need to have Bachelor of Arts in Journalism as a subheadline. And then I want to separate out some of this information here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep in Gil Sands, keep everything in the family here. So I'm going to choose Gil Sands Semi Bold for education here. And then for my um, education um, subhead, I'm going to choose Gil Sands Semi Bold Italic. And we'll use Gil Sands for the body text here. So I'm going to get all these formatted. And this is going to become uh, how I'm going to we'll go Gil Sands Regular on this um, and drop down the text sizes so that it all fits nicely here. Um, so it does copy over the bullets for me, which is great. Um, so I'm at Gilsan's regular size 11 for this text that I have here. Now I want a little bit of separation between education and bachelor, so I'm going to do what we call a soft return, which is shift return. Um, and that's actually a pretty big return, so I'm going to change the letting between these two lines. Letting is the um, portion here, so we're going to see what it looks like at 11, and I'm going to see it at 8, and let's actually go down to 4. Okay, and then this information is well far below here, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change it to 4 on the letting there. So I can tell that these are the same, um, but that there's a little bit of space. We'll use the W key to toggle so we can see between these. Now I'd actually like to add a little bit of a color variation here to my headlines. So I'm going to go to swatches, and I'm going to change it to navy. We'll add some navy in here to our name as well. Um, so I can see just a little bit of formatting in that space. I'm going to make my headline. Um, we're going to go ahead and make my headline 14, so I'm able to see that. Now I have this first level of um, first level of information complete. It's easy to read, um, and now I'm going to move into the skills section.